Hi guys, it is just another yuck, gloomy, gray, depressing day here in the end times in paradise in uh, Garfield, Texas this morning. I guess we're at Thursday morning, April 12th, so your old depressed collapsitarian needs to think about what to whine about today. Uh, but before I get into my weekly whine, I just want to dive into my Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag as I do every day. See what's on the <coughs> minds of Alert Tribes members. Uh, and we're going to hear from uh, <coughs> our old buddy child-free, hopium-free vegan weighing in on just the the Humpty Dumpty tribe uh, broken record. Is it a rant or a chant at this time? Take it away, CHV. <clears throat> when will the world start taking overpopulation seriously? Probably never. Our species just isn't that smart. The upper, middle, and wealthy classes of people in relatively wealthier countries, the intellectuals, and the people who could potentially do something to address the problem won't care, or will think that poor people are just getting the suffering they deserve because meritocracy is a fundamental law of nature. The poor people affected by human overpopulation probably won't have the education and worldliness needed to understand or recognize the problem, at least not beyond a local level. Also, they are liable to think that their poverty and suffering is just the natural state of human existence and that life has always been like that for centuries. <clears throat> and in most parts of the world, that last part would be accurate. Nature will just run its course and laws of economics will play out and it will all seem like the immutable <coughs> natural order of things. The idea is that the idea that people could have a higher quality of life if there were fewer of them simply won't occur to most people just like today. There you go and I would as long as I'm here right next to this, as long as I'm here, I would like to uh, thank my buddy from down in uh, Australia, Alm Calgano, for sending me this quote that I have already shared uh, with the tribe. I believe I read this quote either the day that Donald Trump was elected president or soon thereafter. And this is a quote from the late, great Joe Badgent, my Humpty Dumpty tribe hero, Joe Badgent. <clears throat> quote, There was, and still is, a tremendous fear that poor and working class Americans might one day come to understand where their political interests reside. Personally, I think the elites worry too much about that. We dumb working folk were clubbed into submission long ago and now require only proper medication for our high levels of cholesterol, enough alcohol to keep the sludge moving through our arteries, and a 24-7 mind-numbing spectacle of titties, tabloid TV, and terrorist 
dramas, throw in a couple of new flavors of double extra large edible thongs and you have got a nation of drowsing hippos who will never notice that our country has been looted or even that we have become homeless ourselves. <coughs> and boy, do we miss the voice of the late, great Joe Badgett. Uh, where are you today, Joe? And of course, the uh, another voice we miss would be that of my Humpty, and probably my number one all-time uh, Humpty Dumpty tribe uh, hero, Brother Michael Rupert, who uh, four years ago tomorrow just ran out of his sense of humor and blew his brains out. And I think, uh, even though it's a day early, I think maybe uh, today is a fine day to remember our fallen hero, Michael Rupert, uh, depressed collapsitarian Michael Rupert. So I think I'll come back in this week's edition of my uh, depressed collapsitarian whine, whining about Brother Michael, among other subjects. Coming right up. Bye, guys.